everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan. This week is a little unusual. You'll see why as we go forward. Um, Monday, I'm gonna cook those pub burgers. They turned out so delicious, like I wanna have them every week. <laughs> Tonight, we're gonna make some pub burgers. Ken's gonna grill them up. I have some onions that I'm sauteing in a tablespoon of olive oil and butter, salt. And that's what the onions look like. I spent about 20, 30 minutes getting them to this point. I'm gonna make a quick sauce. I have some mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and some of this no sugar added Heinz ketchup. I'm gonna mix this together. I'm gonna add a little bit of dill pickle relish, maybe a heaping tablespoon. To put these pub burgers together, I have a bed of lettuce with a tablespoon of the sauce, some sliced tomatoes with salt and pepper, and a little bit of red onion. I'm gonna put the burger right on top. I'm gonna put another scoop of that special sauce with one slice of bacon. And the best part are those grilled onions. All right, that's what it looks like, you guys. I can't wait to dig in. With the leftover uh, ground beef, I just made uh, taco salads and tacos. So it was like a taco bar. You could have whatever you wanted. And that worked out really well, and I was able to use up the ground beef I had from the burger night. In my pan, I have a tablespoon of oil, a small onion, four ounces of green diced chili, and a large clove of garlic. I'm just gonna saute this. I have a little bit of hamburger left over from last night and I wanna use it up. I'm just gonna get this uh, ground beef browned up. I just added some taco seasoning, about a half a cup of water. I'm gonna let this simmer for 20, 30 minutes. I had a little bit of hamburger left over from last night and wanted to use it up, so we went totally easy tonight. We're gonna do a taco bar slash taco salad bar. I fried up some corn tortillas for the kids. We have cheese and hot sauce, sour cream, avocado, lettuce, tomato, and taco meat. Looks pretty delicious. The boys are having tacos. That's what their plate looks like. Delish. Everyone's happy. Wednesday, I meal prepped a HelloFresh dinner, uh, hoisin pork chops, rice, and broccoli for the boys. And I'll put that recipe down in the description box. Ken and I had date night. We went to, uh, what country was it? Oh, Germany, and had uh, German cuisine. It was really nice. I am taking advantage of HelloFresh this week. I placed an order for three nights. Ken and I have date night one night, and I know we're gonna do Valentine's Day one night. So I thought I'd just place an order this week, and then I can go ahead and meal prep for the boys for two nights of dinners, and then I'll go ahead and meal prep the other one and they can have it for lunches or whatever. The first one is hoisin pork chops with the rice and uh, broccoli. And I like to add a little bit of onion and garlic and a little jalapeno to the rice along with the ginger. This one is pork and poblano tacos. This is a tried and true. They love that uh, particular recipe. Meatloaf with green beans and sweet potatoes. All right. I'm gonna get started on the pork chops, get this meal prep done. I will put the recipe link and the instructions in the description box below. HelloFresh has them available online, so I don't mind doing that for you guys. And that way, if you're not um, with HelloFresh at all, you can go ahead and try these at home. The recipe will be there for you. All right, on to the pork chops. I'm going to make some rice and I have a half of an onion that I diced, a half a jalapeno, a large clove of garlic and about equal amounts of fresh ginger. 
We're going to start by sauteing the onions and get those going and give them a head start in a pan with a tablespoon of olive oil. Season with salt and pepper and we'll let this go for a few minutes so that the onion can start to get soft. The onions are looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and add the jalapeno, the garlic, and the fresh ginger. I'm just going to cook this for about 30 seconds. So fragrant. I added a cup of jasmine rice, and I'm also going to add two cups of water. We're going to bring this to a, a full boil and then turn the heat down as low as we can go and put a top on it and cook it for 20 minutes. Now that this has come to a boil, I'm gonna give it one final stir. Put the top on it, lower the heat to simmer, go as low as I can go, time it for 20 minutes. On my sheet tray, I have some broccoli crowns. I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil on top of them salt and pepper and then get these into a hot 400 degree oven and roast them off in the oven. Dinner is going to be so easy. <laughs> it's going to cook itself. All right into a 400 degree oven we'll roast these broccoli crowns off. In my frying pan I have a little bit of olive oil I'm just going to add some pork cutlets to the pan, season them with salt and pepper, and get them cooked up. I have a few tablespoons of hoisin sauce and I added two tablespoons of a plum sauce and just mixed it all together. I'm going to use this to baste on the pork chops to give it a little Asian flair. I'm going to add it to this other side. So that's what the dinner looks like. I'm going to get these put up in the fridge. The boys can microwave them and they're all set. Thursday was Valentine's Day. Ken and I went to dinner and a movie and the boys went ahead and made um, HelloFresh uh, pork and poblano tacos. Um, this is one of their favorite uh, HelloFresh dinners. It's really super easy. I love that it comes with everything that they need to prepare it and it's just um, really, really nice. I'm going to put this along with the other HelloFresh recipes in the description box for you guys. Friday, I meal prepped the meatloaf, the green beans, and the sweet potatoes. The boys went to um, some kind of carnival or something like that uh, through the forestry department. And Ken and I had breakfast for dinner, so it was great. I went ahead and peeled four sweet potatoes and I cut them into just chunks. I'm going to go ahead and boil them in a pot of salted water until they get fork tender. I have the sweet potatoes with a little bit of butter, honey, and brown sugar. I'm just going to mash it all together. I just put the green beans on a sheet tray and we're just going to drizzle some olive oil on them, salt and pepper, and we're going to get them into a hot oven. Bake them for about 15-20 minutes. In the bowl I have some ground beef, some panko breadcrumbs, a diced onion, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, 
minced parsley and garlic and like I said I'll put the recipe down in the description box with the amounts for you guys I'm gonna get this all mixed together and form them into four patties so I formed them in the patties I put a little bit of ketchup on top and we're gonna go ahead and place those in the oven for about a half an hour here's what the dinner looks like we have the sweet potatoes with the meatloaf and the green beans and it's all meal prepped Saturday I wanted to use up I had a little piece of that spiral ham from last week the boys had used the residual sliced ham for sandwiches uh, for school lunches but I had a big chunk of ham so I made a ham soup served it with a salad and I made loaded uh, baked potatoes for the boys it was a big hit it was a real ugly duckling looking dinner <laughs> I mean the soup and the potato were all the same color and you know it wasn't very pleasing to the eye but it was really tasty i'm going to try to use up some leftovers i have an onion some garlic half a jalapeno a little bit of carrot and celery and the rest of that spiral ham from last week i'm going to start getting the onions cooked down get everything else put in the pot and make a nice soup now that the onions and celery have sauteed for a little while. I'm just going to add everything else. The garlic and the ham. A little bit of carrot. I have a couple tablespoons of a chicken base. Adding a quart of water. Let me bring this up to temperature and get it to a simmer. This is the product that I'm using, but you could use that better than bouillon chicken base if you have that. It's at a simmer, so I'm gonna add a couple of cups of heavy whipping cream. Right. I'm just gonna let this come up to a simmer and then I was able to get six um, servings so I'm gonna put these in the fridge and it's all meal prepped out that's gonna help this week for Sunday dinner Ken grilled some steaks I made a really nice salad and the boys had baked potatoes with theirs tonight we're having grilled steaks and uh, baked potatoes and a salad baked potatoes so that's our meal plan for this week. Um, I don't have a grocery haul for you because I didn't go grocery shopping. I just used what I had on hand. And then with the addition of the HelloFresh, uh, that was about $81 for the three nights uh, dinner. That's all we purchased. And you know, I got to use up a lot of leftovers and it was just a really, really great thing. But anyway guys, I hope you have a happy Monday. Happy meal planning, and until the next video, I will talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.